The mission of the West Roxbury Historical Society is to preserve and protect the history of West Roxbury. The Historical Society has been an active society since 1931 and has collected many uh, items of memorabilia, maps, books, documents re reflecting the history of West Roxbury. Many of the people come that inquire here at the society are interested in knowing about what the origins of their house is, who the former owners are, uh, who might have built the house, those kinds of things. Of course, West Roxbury is best known for Brook Farm. Brook Farm is a 1840 social community here in West Roxbury of national importance. So those are the kinds of things. But predominantly, people are interested in knowing about their, their local community. <clears throat> Many of our residents now in West Roxbury weren't necessarily raised in West Roxbury, so they don't have a sense of what the history and the origins of the community is, and, and we try to share that with them. It's important for a community to, to record its history and preserve its history for future generations and for, for understanding how a community came about. Um, why is a street named what it is? Why, why are houses built in certain sections at certain time? the impact of railroads, the impact of automobiles on a community. All these things tell you little subtle things about how a community came about. And, and that's, those are the kinds of things that people are interested in. <clears throat> the preservation of history in itself might be a kind of a fluff thing to people, but people are always very interested in knowing the origins either of their own personal family or their, their uh, neighborhood in particular. So I think it's very important to preserve that. And again, it's not just for for us now, it's for future generations so that they can look at West Roxbury and get a sense of who, who preceded them in the community and how the community developed. The uh, Historical Society is a very, West Roxbury Historical Society is a very lucky society in that we have a room of our own here in the West Roxbury Library. Over the last 70 years, people have saved memorabilia, books, atlases, maps, photographs, uh, first-hand accounts that people have written or recorded about growing up here in West Roxbury. And uh, the room is called the Feeney Room. It was donated, the furnishings in the room was donated by the Feeney family, Charles and Ellen Feeney, who were very active in West Roxbury for many years. And uh, we are open to the public and, you know, we encourage people to use this as a resource. And uh, we never know what we're going to find in our collection. There's always, you know, you, you look in there and all of a sudden you find a piece of information uh, that, that's kind of interesting. Well, the current membership is a fairly well-established membership. We have approximately 100 members right now in the Historical Society, and many of them have been members for a number of years. And fortunately, we are seeing an increase in new residents in West Roxbury that are interested in we would like to see more well-established residents that have been living here for years that do know local history and to become members and to share that kind of history. Um, one of the biggest obstacle I think a historical society has is convincing people that their lifespan is a historical moment and it's worth saving. Uh, I reflect a story I was given some photographs from the 1980s and the person said to me, why do you want these? And I said, because it'll never be 1980 again. And these are the kinds of things that there's a lot of history in the community. Um, I don't even know a, a, a fraction of it. And people will come up to me and ask me, did you know such and such? Or did you know this particular person lived in the community? No, I didn't know that. And those are the people that we would like to attract. We would like to attract younger people as well because we want to see the society is celebrating its 70th, 73rd year this year, and we want it to be 173 years old. So a person can come here to the library and get an application. They can go online to wrhistory.org and get an application from that and mail it in to us, um, and or come to a meeting. They're posted in both the bulletin and the Parkway transcript uh, so that uh, you can see that, and you're certainly welcome to come by then and join us. So. There are many ways. I'll even see a neighbor or friend that might be a member and come on by with them.